Hey hey hey, it's Gamo Games here, and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to give a custom animation to an auto shape in PowerPoint. So I'm going to select the rectangle auto shape and draw it on my slide. I am then going to change the outline color to nothing and fill it black, actually dark grey. No reason for this uh, fill, it's just for aesthetics. I'm now going to choose the animations tab and then click custom animation. As you can see a new window opens up on the right hand side of PowerPoint. You can click add effect after selecting your auto shape and a variety of options come up. Entrance animations allow your auto shape to appear on the slide. Uh, this can happen in a variety of manners. Emphasis, add emphasis to your auto shape obviously, uh, including spin, grow shrink, transparency, colour change, everything along the lines of that. Exit is the opposite to entrance, allows your auto shape to exit the slide. And motion paths allow your auto shape to move about the slide. Now today I'm going to be doing a motion path. The settings are very similar for any animation. So I'm now going to draw my path. Uh, I'm going to hold shift so that the path is a straight line. So as you can see, if I'm not holding shift, it doesn't snap to any point. But if I do hold shift, it snaps to about 45 degree angles. So I'm going to draw the straight line and double click to finish drawing my path. And as you can see it showed a preview on the window because I have the auto preview button selected. Now right click your animation and choose timing. This will bring up this pop up box. Uh, there's a variety of options in here to do with timing. I'm going to uh, allow the animation to start with previous so it will start automatically. Give it a delay of 0.5 seconds. Uh, and change its speed. You also got the option to repeat the animation here, but I don't want to do that. Uh, under the effects tab, you can choose whether or not it starts smoothly and ends smoothly. The path can be locked or unlocked. If it's locked, when you move the auto shape, the path will stay in the same position. Unlocked is the opposite. When you move the auto shape, it will move with it. There's also the text animation tab, which I don't use very often, purely because I don't normally have text in my auto shapes. So I don't find that tab very useful. Right, again, there's a preview because I changed some of the settings. Uh, just to show that it works during presentation, you can now click F5, which is a shortcut to start the presentation. As you can see, after 0.5 seconds, the auto shape will move along the path that we drew. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. More tutorials of a similar nature will be uploaded soon, preferably more advanced. Thank you and goodbye.